Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Who Wants to Be Millionaire? Trivia Live Show. The game was uh, well known over 130 countries uh, worldwide, and tonight, my honor to be here as your host. Well, what can I say? We're only 15 questions away from equally sharing the prize pool, what is 1,500 British pounds. How it's gonna happen? We'll shortly explain. Uh, we, uh, we'll shortly explain you. 15 questions. You will have four possible options to choose of A, B, C, D. Obviously, only one of them will be correct one. So two lifelines to make your life a bit more easier. Lifeline 50/50. How you will get rid of two wrong answers. And the lifeline ask audience. What means you will be able to see what other players choosing as correct answer well i do believe that we are together we'll do all these 15 questions and shall we begin ladies and gentlemen time for question number one let's get ready how many stars on the Australian flag. Four options to choose of A, B, C, D, one, two, three, or six. One definitely is correct answer. I wish you would like to find it. One, two, three, or six of them. And correct answer to question number one is six. Well, what can I say? Majority of you answered this question correctly. So let's move on. Question number two. Which tech company makes the Chrome web browser? It's Microsoft, Amazon, Firefox, or Google? Microsoft, Amazon, Firefox, or Google? Which tech company makes the Chrome web browser ready? Yeah, just like it was for the question number one, the correct answer is answer D, which is a Google. Question number three. Which large African mammal is often haunted for its horn? Rhinocerous, elephant, giraffe, or buffalo? you think so? Well, I would like to say that all answers are in. And correct answer is answer... First one, it's answer A, it's a rhinocerous. Yes. Okay, still, majority of you are holding strong. Let's move on. Which racket sport is played using a shuttlecock? It's squash. Table tennis? Badminton or tennis? Squash, table tennis, badminton or tennis? Well, ready or not, but it's time to find out. Badminton, isn't it? All of you, look at that. Has ever someone told you that you're the best? Well, I'm saying that right now. Let's move on. Where could you climb the world's tallest building? The Burj Khalifa. Athens, Kuala Lumpur, Dubai, or Singapore? A, B, C, D. Choose one of them and I can guarantee it that one of them is correct answer. So it's Athens, Kuala Lumpur, Dubai. Look at that. I'm going on. Julie, have you ever been there? Okay, so uh, time for question number six. Ready? And that is, what is the first name of British tennis star Raducanu? who won the USA Open in 2021 at the age of 18. It's Emma, Anna, Lisa, or maybe Katie. A, B, C, D. Very young, 18 years old. USA Open in 2021, right uh, answer is uh, answer A, Emma. Okay, so... 
We're almost halfway there. Question number seven. What, what was the surname of John, the character played by Kit Harrington in Game of Thrones? Sleet, snow, frost, or chill? <laughs> well, I'm the one who has never seen not a single episode of this TV series, but even I knew that it's snow. So what can I say? All of you, I'm not surprised about that. All of you answer this question correctly. So time for question number eight. Which metal was used to make the Statue of Liberty, which has turned green over the years? It's copper, iron, lead, or brass. A, B, C, D. Well, if you're finding this question hard to answer, you're welcome to use a lifeline, right? But the right answer is answer number A, isn't it? Yes, it's copper. You're feeling all right? It's time for question number nine. We get this far. Which Roman settlement was covered in ash by Mount Vesuvius? Naples, Eboracum, Constantinople, or Pompeii? A, B, C, or D. And I want to ask this legendary question. Is that your final answer? I hope, I want to say, oh, I hope you're one of those who answer Pompeii, but you know what? Again, every single one of you answered this question correctly. Wonderful. Which word is used to describe an animal which lives part in water and part of land? Crepuscular, arachnid, amphibian, or maybe Nocturnal? Uh, might be not that easy question, maybe that's how it is. It's okay, majority of you answer this question correctly. Yes, it's answer C, which is amphibian. Question number 11. Wow, let's do this. What is the word which describes someone who collects coins? Numismatist? Vexillologist, philatelist, or maybe that's paleographer. A, B, C, D. If you still do have lifelines, 50 50, or ask audience one of the last questions, not to waste them, okay? And the correct answer to question number 11 is answer A, which is namismatist. Yes. Question number 12, ladies and gents. Which artist painted the great wave of Kanagawa? It's Andy Warhol, Frida Kahlo, Winston Wan Hu, or Hokusai? ABCD. Andy Warhol, Frida Kahlo, Winston Wan Hu, or Hokusai? The last one answered this correct one, and that is Hokusai. One of the last questions of tonight. Hot Strong, which is Australian city, has been given the rights to host the Olympics in 2032, something about the future. It's Perth, Adelaide, Brisbane, or Melbourne. Uh, to be honest, I even didn't know that it's going to be <laughs> in Australia Olympics in uh, 2032. Look at that. And it's going to happen in Brisbane. What is the correct answer? Answer C. Yes, indeed. Well, one of the last questions of tonight, which is a Latin phrase translates as Bayer Biver. Don't judge me, I will try my best. Cavit emptor, carpe diem, semper fidelis, or ad museum. I tried my best. <laughs> so A, B, C, or D. Uh, the correct answer is yes, it's answer A. Oh, I did a good job. Thank you so much for that. I do appreciate your support here. And this is the last one, believe me or not. The final question of who wants to be millionaire trivia live show. Who was the last wife of Henry VIII who outlived 
him. Anne of Cleves, Catherine Parr, Catherine of Aragon, or Jane Seymour. Anne of Cleves, Catherine Parr, Catherine of Aragon, or Jane Seymour. And correct answer to final question of tonight is Catherine Parr. Answer B. 151 of you got this far. Yes, you are the ones who are sharing the prize pool 1,500 British pounds. So for one in each of you, 9.93 pounds. Thank you so much. I hope you did enjoy. It was easy. I'm glad to hear that. Well, it wasn't be supposed to be too hard for so thank you so much once again and yes exactly in front of me it should be visible and findable link what's gonna lead you to our live table adventures beyond wonderland you're more than welcome to visit recently updated boon a bonus feature there and thank you so much enjoy your weekend and i will see you some another time goodbye <laughs>